up everybody it's your boy plug and play coming at you one more time with another video today it is friday we're taking a look at another gaming myth and today we're taking a look at the boogeyman of the video game world hero brian himself kicking it off with an article over on gamerax.com links to everything here i'm going to say it one time so i don't repeat myself Links to everything that I mention here, all the articles we go over, will be in the description below, right down there, next to that subscribe and like button. Feel free to hit those as well. So anyway, guys, we take a look at myths every Friday on this channel. Don't get a lot of views, but I don't care because I like the source material, I like the conversation, and I like the topics that we pick. So I'm all about making videos I like. So, in any case... Every Friday, we take a look at a myth in the gaming universe, the gaming world. Myths that have really kind of intrigued people throughout the years. Those are the ones that I like, the bread and butter. And today, we're taking a look at Hero Brian. Now, for those of you that don't play Minecraft, that's where my Guinness World Record is. It's in Minecraft. I've played a lot of Minecraft. I have kids. They played the shit out of Minecraft. It's a very, very popular game. Basically, you mine resources and you craft things and build things it's like uh, Legos on steroids uh, it's a really cool game um, but anyway Hero Brian is a character or said to be a character in the game that is all-powerful can kill you steal your stuff and just wreak havoc and then disappear there's no way to kill him he's completely random pops up these are the myths that surround Hero Brian now at first glance if you go to YouTube and just type in uh, we're gonna do it right here uh, we'll go to youtube.com and we'll type in my if I can spell today Minecraft Hero Brian top five real Hero Brian sightings in Minecraft. What is the real story of Hero Brian? Hero Brian visited my Minecraft world and I attacked him. Um, there's tons of video here. So is Hero Brian actually real? Tons of videos telling you about sightings and spottings of Hero Brian in the game. However, the myth, spoiler alert, is not real. It is a myth. It has been debunked many times. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at it right now. Reading from the Gamerx.com website itself, creating and exploring worlds within Minecraft is rather endless and is easy sinking countless hours into this procedurally generated video game title. Not to mention the game support online gameplay where players can share their creations with others along with partaking in makeshift game modes such as hide and seek. Um, blah blah blah. Herobrine is arguably the biggest for Minecraft players where the character resembles a default character skin. However, the character also features white eyes. Rumors and myths have started to float around online stating that the character is the ghost of Minecraft's creator Marcus Pearson's dead brother. Now, Minecraft was created by Notch. Um, he's the creator and founder of uh, Mojang and, and Minecraft. Um, huge hit game. Recently sold to Microsoft for like millions, if not billions of dollars. Making Notch very wealthy. Um, and not to take anything away from him, it is a very, very fun game. I've played it for years. Never once in a legitimate game without mods or without any kind of hacks have I ever seen a Hero Brian character? Now, the myth started when Minecraft started introducing what they call villagers. Uh, and villagers are NPCs in the game that are basically just characters that walk around and they do nothing. You can attack them, you can um, trade with them, things like that, but they don't really do anything. And in these villagers, they have villages and houses and things that they've built and farms and they have uh, cattle and stuff and pens, and it looks like real villages where people live. Well, some of these are abandoned. Some of them don't have villagers in them. So when these characters or these people go throughout the world of Minecraft and these open worlds that are ever-expanding, and they come across some of these villages that looked like people lived in them, they said, well, this isn't random. The worlds are randomly generated, so why would they generate houses and farms and light poles and all of this good stuff if nobody lived there? That's where the myth really got started. Um, the origin of the Hero Brian myth and why he's not real over here on the MinecraftForum.net. I'll have a link to this as well. 
Um, Hero Brian, this and that is real. This is a thread explaining the origins of Hero Brian and why he isn't real. A scary, creepy pasta probably originated from 4chan was posted of this image. Um, now, there's a lot of 4chan stuff, a lot of um, creepy pasta links and images that people have taken. Now, the problem with this is when these myths started coming about, um, Photoshop editing software, there wasn't, the internet was a lot younger. Um, so you could go into uh, Photoshop, things like that, and basically just put whatever you want together, and most people on the internet would, would take it as true. Now we know, you know, photos can be edited on, on your phone. I mean, you don't really need any fancy three, four hundred dollar software to do it like you did back in the day. Um, so when people took an image like that and they had what was supposedly a non-existent character in the game, people took it seriously. Um, same thing in like speed running. When you see people uh, faking speed runs, um, they would have to chop and edit game software and game video. Um, and it was a lot harder to do back then. So when people submitted fake speed runs, uh, they were often taken as real and they were taken seriously because it was really, really hard to fake. Um, but to lay the myth to rest right here on the official Minecraft wiki page, Hero Brian is frequently referred to by Mojang, 4J Studios, and the Minecraft wiki in the Minecraft forums. However, Hero Brian has never appeared in Minecraft itself with never being underlined. Now, does Hero Brian exist? Yes. Hero Brian exists in modded servers using hacks, cheats, reskinning enemies to look like Hero Brian. You can do all of this in Minecraft. You can take a zombie and reskin it to look like however you want. And in this case, you can put a Hero Brian skin over another element in the game and make it look like Hero Brian. But in an official Minecraft server, um, vanilla server if you want to call it, any something without any add-ons, any cheats, any hacks, any mods, Hero Brian does not exist in the vanilla version of the game, coming straight from the Minecraft wiki page itself. Any images or videos you see of Hero Brian because of this are obviously fake or they are being generated by using some of these mods. Putting the final nail in the coffin for this myth is Notch himself. Now this was posted on his Twitter page back in 2011, January 8th actually, which just a few, day, few days ago marks eight years since this has been posted. So now you can kind of get a sense of how long this myth has been around. Hero Brian isn't real in any way. No, I never had a brother. Well, there's a half brother I never met, and he's not in the game. The creator of the game himself, who now no longer even owns the company or has anything to do with the game itself, has nothing to gain by this, telling you Hero Brian is not in the game. So if you see a video on YouTube, guys, or you see a Twitter post, or you see somebody in school talking about they saw Hero Brian, it's bullshit. And if they got proof, it's either fake, or it was done using hacks, cheats, and mods, which means it's not official. So hopefully you guys learned something from this video today, guys. That is the myth surrounding the Hero Brian character. He doesn't exist. The Boogeyman is not real. So you guys can definitely sleep a lot better at night knowing that if you guys like the video hit that like comment subscribe button down below help a small channel out in the big youtube universe my name is plug and play i'm going to take a break this weekend but i will catch you guys again on monday we are going to do what do i do on mondays here that's right interviews that i get snubbed on so stick around and wait for that one on monday you guys take it easy peace